Welcome back to the Darknet NG channel. Today we're going to be going through and using Windows 11 to flash our Mesh-tastic devices. So we're first going to go to meshtastic.org, then click Getting Started. In the top left-hand side, we're going to click the Install Serial Drivers. Then we're going to go over to the ESP32 drivers since we're going to be using the Helltech V3. We're going to specifically click the CP210X USB to UART bridge, right click, open that in a new tab, and it's going to take us to the Silicon Labs page. We're going to specifically download the CP210X VCP Windows. That's all it's called. We're just going to go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, we're going to open the package. From there, we're going to extract everything that we have. And once we click into it, we're going to click on this x86, excuse me, x64 install package. The screen's going to come up and ask you to give administrative permissions. Go ahead and click next, install that package. And now we're going to test to make sure that our Windows system has a driver that's working so we can actually see things. You do need to make sure you're using a data transfer cable because there are many USB cables that are charge only. So if you do this next test and your device doesn't show up, you need to grab a new different USB cable. Then we're gonna go ahead and open up our device manager. We're going to take our Helltech V3 and we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB. Right now, this has not been flashed with Meshtastic. Once we plug it in, it may reboot. It may go blank screen, that's okay. Now, sometimes your device manager will flash an update. Other times you may actually need to now click into the port and now it says Silicon Lab, so we're good to go. So we can go over to flasher.meshtastic.org, do the drop down menu and select the Helltech V3. For today, we're gonna to be installing the firmware version 2.4.0. There may be a new version or a DEF CON specific version that's gonna be released here. Once you hit flash, it tells you what's going on with that release change your baud rate for me it was the 460 worked out better and then i toggled the full erase and install then you can click that big old button that says flash and install make sure to choose your device in the top left hand side you may say com five three it may have a different number for you you don't need to do anything with your mesh tastic board here you can literally just leave it plugged in and it's going to start working as long as this next step, when you hit the Erase and Flash and Install, it should start saying this, Erasing Flash, and then starting to Flash App Partition. So, as long as you're to this point, you're in a good situation. For whatever reason, if you're having an issue and you're not able to do this, please put a comment below in the section and we'll get to troubleshooting with you, walk through the same steps, or install an additional driver. This is specifically for Windows 11, and this goes pretty quick on this install. So for flashing the app partition, we're already done with. Now the over the air OTA update is now getting flashed. And then finally, we're going to go to the file system partition. And this is being done in real time. This is not sped up. This is a pretty quick process, which is great. And with that, if everything's good, you should be good to go now. You can now look back at your device. It should reboot and it should say Meshtastic. The top left-hand side will say that it's unset on the country. The top right-hand side tells you what version of Meshtastic you're running. In our next videos, we're gonna go through and set up this on Linux, on Mac, and then also show you how to set this up on your mobile devices for iOS and Android. Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you at DEF CON.